Hello, what's up? Hope you're all amazing. Today we just got a very quick video on some simple campaign tactics. I was finishing my campaign the other day, thought may as well film it and show you all how I uh, do my campaign, so let's go. First thing you see here is I'm sniping the first troops with artillery. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a Max Antonin or not, you'll always be able to do this, and the first set of troops won't respond, so always do that with artillery. Okay, now this next set is also artillery, so there's two things that you need to bear in mind when killing other artillery. If you have a Max Antonina, it's going to take them time to reach you, and they'll have a reload speed, so as long as you've got a faster reload speed than them, they're not going to do a single hit of damage, and you're going to be able to kill all of them but you need to be careful that you're only hitting one at a time. Now hit immediately, as you can see, I'm just bringing troops forward. I'm setting them out, this is where I have space to work with and I don't waste time later on when I'm taking down the big swarm at the end. Okay, now you can see what I've just done is taken forward a weak infantry and I've bunkered it straight away and I've made sure that I'm at least three grids away with all my other troops but now the swarm of super heavies are going to attack the bunker. And if you look what's going to happen in a minute, I'm going to let it die. And when it dies, the swarm is going to be split into two. So some of them are coming forward, some of them are staying. And now they're coming forward and I've put my bunker up first, the strong one. It's not very strong, but it'll last. And I'm basically just letting my artillery take down a bunch of super heavies. Okay, you see that? Now because I bunkered earlier and let the infantry die, when I hit a troop with a 5 grid RT, it only brings one forward and actually I brought the others forward then but that's because I moved my super heavy forward. But it's okay, I'm just going to sit there and let my super heavy absorb the, absorb the damage and hopefully this should be an easy campaign. So as you see, nice and easy, my super heavy did die, but uh, my artillery could take the damage and I've only got one left, but I don't think this should be too big a problem. Time would probably be the biggest problem now if we keep an eye on that. Now I'm moving my anti-tank gun around just to make the tank follow me, waste time, it buys time and it got me through the campaign. It, you literally see I had one second left as I hit the AA gun and one mat, so that's pretty easy. Now what you can see here is I'm evaluating the situation and I can see that my artillery will hit their tank before it'll be able to reach me, so I, I don't have any concern. But here I'm using my super heavy in front and what I'm going to do is absorb the damage with my super heavy and basically just snipe them again, simple. Now I want to show you this method which I use quite a lot. What you do is you hit the tank, well actually no here I just I drew it forward uh, a few troops and I'm going to let the artillery take them down uh, and with only two troops it's not going to do much damage to me. But here is what I wanted to show you. So I'm going to hit it with the artillery and then draw my artillery back, forcing it to attack the super heavy. And that way I could have used my officer skill and I didn't have to get too close. If I got close, it would have activated more troops. But this way I can literally take a few forward, draw them out and kill them easily. And then here I do the same bunker technique as I showed you earlier. It's not going to work every time because it's not a magic formula or anything. It will take a lot of different variants and you'll have to just play around to see what works. But that's all I did. And yeah. I'm 
just showing you again here the power of this because it literally brought one troop forward and I can let my super heavy take the damage and kill it. And it's so brilliant. The only problem is time, so you do have to be careful of that. But yeah. Right, now that is it for that video. But you can see here a little footage from the next video, which will be how to attack bases solo. I'm going to be explaining some simple things. So make sure you subscribe to see that, and I'll show you later how to attack bases solo.